Hey, friends. Uh, I just got here, so I was, like, not ready. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. My name is Kat King. I'm on social media at Kat King in Dayton. I'm a poet, host, and creator here in Dayton, and it's been a minute since I've been here, so I'm so excited to be back. So uh, we, you said one or two pieces? One. Okay, cool. So where's Megan? Can, Megan, can you hear me? Okay, this one's for you. This one's titled Dear Dayton. Uh, I've not performed it here, and I'm super excited, too. <laughs> small towns house small minds, and I'm so glad I got out of mine and was exposed to lives that I never knew existed because hatred and gossip thrives in small towns where small minds reside, and outside that small town are millions of other lives with stories and traditions and fears I never knew existed. Dear Dayton, your art scene is what drew me to you. In the silhouette of the cityscape and riverscape and third perk smoothies, that bird mural off Kiwi, the diversity of, evening, of people in evening festivities and the brick road on Fifth Street, here in Dayton, praise is both the Lord and the pussy. Stories are told and music is loud by drums or pots and pans outside auntie's open windows. Jerk chicken and bourbon chicken tends battle for the best smell on Main Street, and that smell got my mouth watering, and I don't even eat meat. And I swear I met God and a woman at an open mic. Her presence, so beautiful, so full of peace, so full of life. And here in Dayton, I met the love of my life. I met the real me. And she doubts herself daily. She goes for things out of her reach. She has tattoos and piercings and far too many shoes. But in those shoes, she stepped out of her comfort zone, stepped into her own, and built a bond with her soul that's unbreakable. And I'm proud of her. Because her small mind quadrupled in size, becoming elevated when she got educated. And who knew the best teacher wasn't in the classroom but rather people around the city who have unintentionally mentored me and challenged me and made me who I am today. And who I am today would blow my small town, small mind. And I'm so glad I got out of mine and was exposed to lives that I never knew existed, like mine. And who I am now is who I want to be for the rest of my life. And I owe it all to you, Dayton because I wouldn't have met her had I not have fallen in love with the silhouette of the cityscape and riverscape and third perk smoothies. But it was always that bird mural off Kiwi that made me leave the nest of my small town to bring myself out to meet the love of my life. Dear Dayton, because of you, I met me. Thank you.